I'd say I was one of the premier racists in Australia. And do you still hold those views? said that you were a Nazi? Uh, yes, I said that I was a Nazi. How can we know that you're not trolling all of us by saying because that you don't believe you do this it. anymore? This is not how you do it. We've invited you into our home. You know, if a real white nationalist wouldn't give you a serious interview. And I can tell you that for a fact. How would you describe your views? I would say that I'm a conservative Christian and I also have um, very strong passions for traditional family values as well as traditional homemaking um, values as well. I came from the anti-feminist movement, the MRA movement, the men's rights activist movement, um, and I believe that White men in today's society basically had the rough end of the stick. You described it as radicalisation, but how did you get into this way of thinking? So get into this way of thinking, um, go back to say end of year 12, um, so late 2014 you'd say. Um, I started reading extremist material online you would say, mostly 4chan's poll. If you were like reading that sort of stuff in 2015 definitely reinforces your views because that's when refugee crisis happened, that's when terrorist attacks happened all the time throughout the world. Every hour of every day is hate, every hour of every day. And I purposely filled my mind with as much hate as humanly possible. <laughs> So how did you get involved in the Discord server? Well, I got involved um, by just inviting me. I had to write my username um, on the back of my wrist um, and then I had to show them um, the photo of it um, on a blank piece of paper, not my face or anything. But the way they determine if you're white or like of descent is your veins, if they can show on the back of your skin, that means you're white enough. So what kinds of things were you posting there? I joined this group thinking it was like right wing political, like in my head I was thinking like, like Tony Abbott here kind of thing. And I was thinking maybe like I'll dis discuss conservatism and Christian values and all that sort of stuff. So you say you have Christian views, but some of the things you were posting were that you were a Nazi, that race mixing is vile, it's disgusting. You were saying you'd bake swastika cupcakes, you'd been to a Hitler's birthday barbecue, you've always loved Hitler, this kind of content. Did you believe that? Um, I baked swastika cupcakes because I wanted to like fit in and it was like a mean kind of thing and they say, oh, I'll bake swastika um, cupcakes, it would be funny, and I, I did. Um, with Hitler's views, the only thing about Hitler's views is that he was a Christian um, and that he believed that a lot of, um, like, just keeping, like, the country, like, just as it was, because I believe that Australia was doing so much more economically better in like the 1950s when the white Australia policy was enacted. It sounds to me, and I think people hearing this will think that you're defending Hitler and his views in what you've just said. Yeah. Are you doing that? Um, it was a private Discord server um, and in those types of groups, in those circles, um, I was supporting them, 
but I have never really said that in like offline, like to friends in in the social circles that I have in real life. Okay, but but you just said that Hitler has Christian values and views. Do yeah. you still believe that? No. Okay. No. At the time, yes. Now, no. Between like the almost 5,000 posts between you, I see that there's a culture of these kinds of comments, but also that it's not a joke. You believe, you do not like people who are Jewish. You do not like people of colour. You do not well, like homosexual not, yeah. people. At the time, certainly. Certainly. There, there is... So the joke part is how it's phrased, but, you know, you wouldn't be like going around saying, you know, I'm going to go do kill people and all this stuff. You know, you wouldn't actually believe that the thing, but, you know, in, at the time of those messages, I did not like people of other races. Do you think there's any harm in the things that you were saying? If you say something like that in that server or even if it's on like a website or something, you know, chances are that you've inspired someone to do violence is pretty minimal, but you reinforce in someone the belief, you know, you're reinforcing the ideology in someone and, you know, you're not helping them move away from it. You're encouraging them to move in deeper. Right. So you're not violent, but you were homophobic, anti-Semitic and racist. Yep. At the time of those messages, 100%. How big is the white supremacist slash alt-right kind of movement in Australia? No one knows. There's a, there's a thing in the alt-right, never keep, keep this. Yeah, never, t never just wouldn't know. Never keep this because, I don't know, like... The far right is just a bunch of people talking. Whether it's, doesn't matter what platform they're on, they're just talking to each other. Like, I, I went to one, like, to a barbecue. And the Hitler's birthday barbecue. It, yes, that was many years ago. And quite literally, it was the most disorganised thing I have ever, ever experienced. Like, no one brought plates, no one brought cups. And, like, how are you going to eat if you don't have plates and cups? And, yeah. like, you, you, it's just like, it's not that organised at all. <laughs> Far-right activist and well-known Trump supporter Richard Spencer bore the brunt of one protester's anger. Kind of and how well connected is Australia to the United States in terms of this white supremacist movement? Oh, I was well connected. I used to be admin on one of Richard Spencer's Discord servers. I used to be in and around all the right circles, you know, mostly overseas. I knew people from Eli Mosley, uh, Mike Enoch, those sorts of people. And you just said that you're in touch with Eli Mosley or Elliot Klein. Well, it was, yes. And he's the guy who organised the Charlottesville rally and someone died in that rally. Yep. I knew him at the time. Um, I'm sure he would call himself the main organiser, but... There are probably heaps of people who dispute that. He saw a car plough into a group of anti-racist demonstrators, killing 32-year-old Heather Heyer. I'm just bringing it up because you're saying that this kind of talk online is in some ways harmless because it's amongst a group of like-minded people, it's not going anywhere else. But I'm trying to tell you that it does translate into well, real I was gonna, action. Well, I was going to say, um, I was saying, like, you know, you say something like that, you know, it's probably... That one thing you said didn't lead to Heather Heyer's death, but the collective of everyone saying that probably did. What was it like being a woman in that neo-Nazi movement? Unkind. Um, I remember them saying, just do as your husband says, do as your, your partner says. You should listen to, like, no, you're a male authority. You should um, do this. Um, there was a, a meme, a, a joke going through about white Sharia and that you should wear burqas because you shouldn't be able to, like, be seen or heard. 
um, you should just only be at home cooking and cleaning and all that sort of stuff and that you should like like just be silent. But you were also recruiting other women to the movement. I just wanted to find friends that I could talk about baking with because I'm I love food. and I don't think that's fair because you were posting pictures of women in Nazi uniforms and saying join the sorority. Yes. So it's more than baking. That I did not create. But that, you shared that. Yes, I shared that. Do you feel bad about trying to get women into that? Yes, basement? I do. I would not wish that on any woman in any point right. of like time. I would never like encourage them to join the movement. I think it's... It's toxic to women. It's toxic to everyone, really. Toxic to everyone. Like, I'll just ask you something. Do I sound like a nice, well put together person from those messages in 2017? No. And no. Do I look like I wanted to do that? Yes. Yeah, because you probably did. You I, have to admit. At the time, I, like, I thought that was okay, and it. it it's not okay. It's not really not okay. So tell me, what contact have you guys had with ASIO? Um, we just oh. had, we can't really discuss well, that. Well, I got a, I got a beer um, and that was about it. Yeah. So they were trying to find out if you knew of anyone who might be violent within the white supremacist movement. Yeah, bas basically. Basically. It's just, basically, it's just. And we didn't know anyone. So how did you guys first get involved in politics in Australia? You were in the Young Libs, Justin? Yep. And were they aware of your... Oh, God, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And what about you, Lisa? I was a member of One Nation, um, and I was an admin to one of their supporter pages, um, FON, which is Pauline Hanson's um, One Nation support group, um, and it was um, now defunct. And how did you both get involved with the Young Nationals? Clifford Jennings, for me. Yeah, same, I guess. We just all got, we just got invited. He was like, well, I'm gonna run for positions and because be he something wanted in it for you guys something. if you want to join. And then he told me that he wanted me to run for a position to fill a seat um, because I was a woman and I would be able to um, gain a seat more easily because of the woman card. He quote, and I quote, woman card. Um, and that it would be easy because no one would suspect a woman. So he was branch stacking. Yes, essentially. So With he, white supremacists. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. So when did you both decide that you no longer have white supremacist views? Um, I'd say it's not something you just decide one day. It's something that takes time, you know. To go from being a normal kid to being radicalised takes months, years. Same thing the other way. You start to meet more people, you start to see things that are challenging to your worldview slowly and starts to crumble. It's just like, not like all Muslims are terrorists. Like, for me, like, there's some really nice Muslims. Like, I would travel to Singapore and I went to a, like a mosque there and like, I was respectful, I wore a hijab, I covered myself because that's what you do in like another country, you be respectful of their culture. And I met a lot of people and they were very nice. And it changed my, it challenged my worldview and it changed who, like, what I saw the world in. Why should people believe that you are actually out of the movement? If we were still white nationalists, why would we you reckon I'd sit down with the ABC? Our real names? Like, why would we do that? Yeah, it's like, if I, was, if I was still a white nationalist, would I sit down and give you a serious interview denouncing the ideology, unless, you know, Basically, if I was a white nationalist, I'd drop the whole things full of in-jokes so I could tell all my mates. We asked you if you'd been in contact with Blair Cottrell and you said no, but we know that you have. And he is one of Australia's premier white supremacists. So that says to me that you are still in contact with these people. Uh, well, I, I'm not. He's not. I contacted him 
because um, I was like, look, this is what's happened and I don't know why. And to be honest, like, I want you to, I don't want anything to do with the movement. So like, just, I don't want to deal with this. So what's your message for people, young people, who might be reading these kinds of forums on the internet? Get uh, out from behind the screen. And it's never too late to come out. Um, it's just, never too late. What do you have to say to Jewish people, people of colour, the vast spectrum of people that you have offended? You mean the majority of the planet? Correct. <laughs> we just... I don't even think... I, I could say anything to make up for what I said, really. What I said was wrong. I feel like just I couldn't imagine how you guys are feeling. And to be honest, like I do not expect forgiveness for the things that I've said. But know that I just won't like say or do any of that because it's it's wrong.